<laughs> Hello? No! No! You're not allowed in here! No, you're not allowed in here! You know this. Don't laugh at me! You're not allowed in here and you know it! No! Does the good girl want to shower? Ellen, are you having a good time? Good girl? Are you enjoying your shower? You look so peaceful. Did you have a nice shower? We're all done. Okay. You're so spiky. You gotta hold on to this part. I know that you want to drink, but you gotta turn it on first. You gotta turn it on. Remember? Now move. See? Yeah, that one. You gotta look what you're doing, baby. Yeah, you gotta push it over. This part goes that way. Are you happy? <laughs> yes, you're so happy. <laughs> After you completely ruined my life. Hey! Yes, you did it. on it. I was in the middle of feeding. I had to go get my phone. Um, the crows left us a present today in the form of money. Uh, I knew this was possible, but I've, I never expected it. Hold on, let me get up. Uh, it's a dime and what appears to be a euro. Um, I don't know where they found a euro in Virginia, but this is like the coolest present they've ever left and definitely the coolest thing that's probably ever happened to me. I am in Spain without the A. You're in spin? Wait. Today, I am going to teach Annie to fly and hunt so she can survive in the wild. Quick breakfast. First, Any. small yeah. leaps. You can do it. Oh, nice. A right. bit longer. That's number two. Let's see. Go, Annie. You did it. You landed on a branch. Yeah. The longest okay, flight yet. Fly over there, okay? Oh, nice! Now time to get some worms for hunting. Found one. She doesn't seem too interested. But we'll keep at it. Until next time. Oh, now you come. Thank you. Thank you for landing right there, that's exactly where I wanted you.
honestly have no idea why he does this. Um, my working theory is that he's stupid. How to impress a non-guitarist. <laughs> How to impress a beginner guitarist. How to impress an intermediate guitarist. How to impress an advanced guitarist. Go oh, nice. Nice job, girl. Go get her. <laughs> Are you getting in the bag? Hmm? What's in that bag? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What was that for? Nasty boy, come here. You being nasty? Did you see him hop? He looks like a turkey vulture running over there. Did you get him doing it? Yeah. Oh. He loves that bag. Oh. <laughs> come here. Come here, you brat. Come here. Okay. <laughs> Why pigeons make great pets? Pigeons are really affectionate. They actually get excited to see you by purring or cooing, but they'll also preen you, flap their wings if they're happy, and even come to you if you call them. They also give pigeon cuddles, which is a bit different to cuddles you get from cats and dogs as they just want to be close to you, whether that's sleeping on you or loafing on you. Pigeons are also very intelligent. They learn fast and communicate with you in their own unique way. They also recognise voices and do very well in a routine and can even learn some basic tricks. And pigeons are actually very clean. Contrary to popular belief, they're very clean animals who enjoy preening themselves regularly and the only thing that makes them dirty is their environment. But give them a clean home and they'll be clean. And finally, they're really easy to look after. As long as you have the right cage or aviary for them to live in, then the upkeep really isn't difficult. If you can handle a few poops and the fact that they throw their seed around, you'll be laughing. But make sure you're prepared to socialise with them, particularly if you only have one, because they do need regular interaction. Oh, and also be warned that their favourite spot will always and forever be your head. I promised to update you when it happened, and it's happened. <laughs> I have some peanuts for the Cardinals, if I can re reach it. It's a pink breast cancer awareness magnet um, from the crows for our collection. I'm so excited. I just came across a video of a lovebird doing this, ripping out little pieces of paper and shoving it in its tail as if it's trying to become a peacock. My brain immediately was like, I must find out why this happens. And so I found out and now I must tell you. So let's talk about it, shall we? At first, it might look like they're trying to do this for vanity's sake, trying to puff up their plumage in hopes that a mate will take notice, but I was surprised to find that this actually is not the case. It turns out that the lovebirds are actually using this paper as building supplies. They'll tuck it safely inside their tail feathers, bring it back home, and make a beautiful nest out of it. And this may look like a cute habit, but lovebirds do not discriminate when it comes to the type of paper they use for their nests. So, if you're an avid reader and have books just hanging out around the house, it might become the next shredding victim for a lovebird. And lovebirds don't only do this with paper, they've also been observed doing it with leaves, so they have many different decorations for their pretty tail feathers and nests. Although it may not be the original reason why they do this, I still think it makes them look really pretty. Mid-turn. 
Sort it out. Stop it. Give me a kiss. Fuck slide. What are you doing? <laughs> When you're trying to pick a pet bird and notice one has a marking that matches your tattoo perfectly. This is the world's loudest bird. Called the white velvet, it has the record for the loudest bird call on the planet. Look at all of those, you little babies. Ah. You little babies. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is an old video of when I first got Reno. He is a 21-year-old Quaker parakeet. He's been owned by one family his whole life. But as they're getting older, they decided that it was best to find him a new home. So they trusted him to me. Being a single bird, Reno needed a little bit of help getting these pin feathers on the back of his head. Now in the wild, or if paired with another bird, these would have naturally been picked away by the motion of the bird's beaks. They can reach all parts of their own body, but they really have a hard time getting the back of their head, so they usually enlist the help of a friend. Not everyone can afford to have a pair of birds or wants a pair of birds, so in these cases, their human friends have to step in to help them get more comfortable. If you leave these for a long period of time, they can start to cause skin irritations and itchiness. Adding some humidity helps soften them a little bit, so we try to give a bath ahead of time. All I'm doing is a very gentle pinch and twist motion the keratin sheets come off and the new feather is revealed. So why does Debbie the chicken have ducklings? It's because a month ago she stole Ducky's eggs and decided to incubate the eggs herself. 
It made Ducky mad, but Deborah was protective over the eggs. Oh, Deborah! The baby ducks imprint on the first thing they see, and that was Deborah. Unfortunately, Deborah's not a duck, and she's not caring for them how they need to be cared for. The other problem is our male duck quackers, who even though as their dad could potentially hurt them, for the safety of the baby ducklings, it's time I have to intervene and take them from Debbie. Stay tuned. You ready to go all the way downstairs, Soup? Let's do it. Ready, Soup? Get away. No one likes you. I'm bigger and scarier. Did you see him attack me? He hurt me, Mom. He is no good. Ophelia, shut up. Ha! No, Ophelia, can you say shut up? <coughs> shut up. Shut up! Good girl. Who's a good girl? What color is this? Purple. No. What color is this? Orange. Good job. Good. What color is this? Purple. Good bird. All right, last one. What color is this? Orange. Say better. Say it better. What color? Orange. Good job. Please don't pet me. No petting, thank you. I don't want to be petted. Do not pet. Uh -uh. You can go pet your mom or something. On